We got a great show planned for you. We're going to um, we're going to spend the night um, playing songs that have been put together over the last few years that are going to be on the new record and. Uh, and of course, as we talk about the process of these things, uh, we have to include our dearly departed um, friend and bandmate, uh, Steve Dagg, who uh, was just a year ago on Monday, um, left us all behind and uh, went on to the next part of his journey. And uh, we miss him dearly. Um, so um, maybe, we, maybe we've got a picture. There's one. That's, that's a beautiful picture of Steve. Um, I got a lot of pictures of Steve. It was hard to pick one. Um, that was one that I considered for the album cover, but I went with the other one, which you've already seen. Yeah, he had a just sort of a way of <coughs> looking like he was floating when he was playing here. Uh, as I mentioned earlier at the start of the show, we'll be uh, looking at pictures and talking about Steve and seeing what happens And uh, as we get prepared to launch this record. Um, I'm, I'm just facing the, the digital battle right now, but um, again, we're going to get into that. But oh, here's something that calms me. I don't know what it is about this picture, but I just love it. Um, this is one night after we had had a jam, and Mr. Grant and Steve were, uh, were chatting. And it looks like we may have been recording vocals or something. I think Neil was probably on the couch. Um, but um, it was just, it, I just love this photo here. Steve, Steve was always big with his hands when he was talking, and he was always telling stories. Um, and often barefoot, uh, as Mr. Grant is in that photo. Awesome, a lot of, lot of feet there. <laughs> I just like that photo. Again, that was when the studio was uh, at a little bit of a different time in life upstairs. Really, uh, I'm not going to say it was a fun album to make, because it wasn't at all. It was an incredibly difficult album to make uh, at the best of times, but the songs are a lot of fun, and the, uh, the end result and product is uh, one of, um, you know, kind of a, a happy place and a positive place, so we're really cool with that. Uh, what's the next, next, the next memory we've got here? Oh, yes, this is, uh, Steve did one of his, um, photo shows down at the West Bend when they were at the church, uh, the clock tower, sorry, uh, here in town. And, uh, I was down there for the opening. It was a beautiful, uh, beautiful set of images that he'd taken while on his travels. And, um, yeah, there he is with a couple of them. That was always fun. Did you ever, ever see much of his art outside of the, the band stuff, Mr. Grant? Well, just at that uh, you at were that down for event. that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a. That was, that was were you there for that one? Set no. of photos, no. man, all over the world. Yeah, a lot of Africa. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he traveled with. Uh, was it Plan Canada? Yeah, I think. Um, I think that was the the organization that he did a lot of. Uh, or Plan. He did. Yes. Was it Plan Canada? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just uh, great photos, great uh, great images, and yeah, he was always he always had the coolest little cameras with him. He was always taking these little candid photos, which was neat. Um, let's hit up another little, little trip down memory lane here. See what comes up next. I can't remember what this one is. Oh yeah, Steve loved pizza. No, it wasn't just about pizza. Steve loved pizza because he wasn't really allowed to eat it because it was you know sort of junk food. Um, not that he wasn't allowed, it was discouraged, but. When we were in Newfoundland, Steve used to love coming over for Wednesday nights because we'd have all this crap that he wasn't allowed to have at home. You know? <laughs> Not that he wasn't allowed, it was just like, you know. Uh, <laughs> it, it aggravated his colitis. Well, it did, yeah, exactly. It, you know? well, then he'd come over here and, oh my God, what fun he would have eating stuff. Um, but um, I was telling him about this, um, this, this cheese and... Uh, this thing that me and Neil had discovered at Venice Pizza back home, these garlic, these, they were called cheesy garlic fingers with bacon. And, and it, we, I took him down at about two o'clock in the morning. A bunch of us went down and he had a piece. And that was after his first bite. He was like, what is this? <laughs> it was just like, he was so amazed. It was a really, really neat piece of food. It's like a, it's like a Towton with honey poured over it and then cheese and then bacon. Uh, and garlic, and it's just delicious. <laughs> just yeah. disgustingly good. It's so good. Yeah. Anyway, Steve really enjoyed those. So that was that was back home in Newfoundland. There. Do you remember? Did you? Arranged. Somebody say Kimberly is here. Hello, my love. How are you, Kimberly? So good to see you. So good to see you. I can't wait for you to hear the record, and I'd love to see you again sometime. We we'll have to have a have a little visit. Uh, Tony Arkell was saying something about, uh, as an almost qualified electrician, the front door light adventure is his everyday struggle. I guess there's something going on with Kimberly and her front door light. Either way, it's lovely to see you here. <laughs> Hope the girls are well. This is a song called The Good and Goodbye. Before we play this, so let's take another little... Uh, Kimberly, if you're just tuning in, we've been uh, 
We've been flashing up Stephen images between songs and having a little, a little memory and a little chat of, uh, of the fun times that we had. And uh, <laughs> again, another food pick with Steve. Um, he always loved his food, and, he, and that is was his expression when you gave him a plate of food. He was always like, "Oh my God!" It's like a combination of gratefulness and being startled and being so surprised and happy all at once. Um, that was at one of our after Christmas garlic pork nights. Um, <laughs> when we did biscuits and garlic pork. Yeah, it I think must that was be in my place. I recognize the girl on the wall yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> I think that is your place, Mr. Grant. You're right. There is you, There is your... Mr. Grant still has the, uh, the the girl of the month calendar. What is it? The swimsuit of the month? Sports Illustrated? Yeah, Sports Illustrated. Sports Illustrated, yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> a popular brand. I'm sure you're not the only one. We've got, we got a couple more photos here uh, before we play the last song. Um, we might have three more photos, I think. What are we at, number seven there, Barry? Uh, six. Right over six. Okay, let's do six, seven, eight, and nine. Oh, this was good. You guys remember this one? No. That was, um, I don't remember it either, but it's a great photo. Barry was there. We were all there. Uh, Cook's, Cook's Rapids, maybe? No. No? No. I'm thinking it might have been uh, the first year that we did edibles. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it might be. Yeah, uh, it's quite possible. That was a fun, fun day outside. Let's, let's go to the next one there, yeah. Barry. No, this was fun. I roped Steve into doing, um, I think it was Jesus Christ Superstar with me at, um, at West Bend, or it might have been Fiddler on the Roof. I think we might have done both of them now, and I'm thinking about it. I can't remember which one this one was, but he used to have, at the, at the end of the shows, he would have a pile of sheets. Uh, he'd have all of his, tr all of his uh, music <laughs> laid out, and some of them would be like nine pieces of paper taped together, and he'd be playing and flipping and playing and flipping, and at the end of it, there'd just be this massive pile right up to, his, right up to the top of his drum stool of papers that he'd have to then reorganize for the next day. Uh, Could have got an iPad. <laughs> iPad, and a foot, iPad and a foot switch. <laughs> and this is, this is, this is a, just a favorite of mine. I, I look at this one and I see Steve, because I saw this so many nights that we played down at the pub, and it was like... I'd be like, is it time to go back on and play some tunes? And he'd be like, yeah, yeah, sure, let me just uh, get another beer. And then he'd be, or it was usually a cider. And uh, he'd be finishing his cider before, uh, before we'd go back up. And uh, uh, just seeing the, back, the background of the pub there is nostalgic as well. It's a totally different time and place all around. And next there, Barry, we got, we got one more. I think this one, I love this one. This is when we shot the end of the world video, which you'll see, uh, you won't see tonight. <coughs> the one that you see tonight is the one that we shot at West Bend, which Steve also recorded and directed. So Steve did the video work for the end of the world official video, and he also did the, the work for the, uh, he was working for West Bend doing their digital concert series, which we were a part of. And, um, and, they, uh, and Steve recorded that as well as played in it. He was always doing that. He was always sort of setting up and being behind the scenes and in the scene. And anyways, it was a, a neat thing. And I just love this. This was after we shot out front of the air and it was towards the end of the night. He was just sort of gathering up crap that had compiled all around the street and moving it to a place. And uh, he looked back and I snapped that photo. I always liked that one. Is that the last one, Barry? That's it, yeah. There we go. Anyways, um, can't believe you're still watching. It was nice to uh, to see that you popped in, and uh, I, we hope that all is going as it can. Um, I'm not even sure what that means still, but um, we think about you all a lot. And uh, we move on here. This is the uh, last of the um, West Bend, one of the West Bend concert series. I think it was one of the last of the digital series. It's a, it's a pretty cool video. It's called uh, End of the World, and we shot it at the barn. So uh, check it out. Here you go. I don't want to hear about your new sensation I don't want to reconnect my old relations I don't want to hear about your recent frustrations All of the time 
doesn't take a genius to see that she's a girl It doesn't take a genius to rule a broken world Sometimes it's okay to ignore the facts All of the time No sense in asking Is this the end of the world? We'll know it's over when it's done There's so many ways I pictured in my head But I never saw this one Close truths are dangerous, rumors and lies Far from the truth and nobody's surprised We're all too busy watching Peaky Blinders All of the time Sometimes it's okay to look outside your door It's okay also to clean your dirty floors Why don't you just wash your hands All of the time No sense in asking Is this the end of the world? We'll know it's over when it's done There's so many ways I pictured in my head But I never saw this one And asking, is this the end of the world? We'll know it's over when it's done. There's so many ways I pictured in my head, but I never.